What is up everyone? It's October 24, 2023, and we are gonna be doing a drive around the whole valley doing a fall foliage video for you guys. I want you guys to see how beautiful some of the fall colors are. It's very spotty. Um, unfortunately, because we're such an alpine area, a lot of all the, these uh, pine trees don't, don't turn beautiful colors. So we're gonna be doing a whole drive. I'll try not to talk as much as usual, but first I really want you guys to enjoy this next promo that I'm going to be putting for you right now. Um, they're very short, but I think you guys are going to be very, very proud of us, especially those of you who have been with us for a long, long time. But I hope you enjoy the video. Um, enjoy the promo for the merchandise. And uh, yeah, sweet. Here's a sign of things to come right there. Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, I just want you guys to know I'm a big fan of how this t-shirt came out. From far away, it looks like a cool bear, an icon that represents Big Bear Lake. If you look closely, the words spell out some of my favorite places in Big Bear, like Bear Mountain, Snow Summit, Drought Creek, and the Village. I can't wait till we release this. Go check it out, and I really appreciate all your support. Love you guys. All right, guys, what did you think of that promo? I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I can't believe this is happening to me. I cannot believe it's happening to me. I can't believe it's happening to Rachel. I just hope you guys really enjoy it. But yeah, so we're gonna do our fall foliage video right now. First off, we're gonna drive through the Vons, the back of the Vons parking lot because there is a big, big area right here with uh, just every single one of these trees is Beautiful. I mean, look at these colors on these trees. Let's just see here. Just real quick, look at how hot. Look at how beautiful my wife is. Look at how beautiful that lady I'm is. I'm in the Halloweeny spirit, guys. <laughs> she it's is. Only, um, what about a little bit over a week away from Halloween? That's so. that's we right. Got both of our Halloween shirts on. It's exactly a week shirt. away from Halloween, actually. And yeah, I, I've, I've got my my Halloween shirt on too. <laughs> I'm wearing my mask always. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's take a look. I mean, look at this. How nice would it be to c come to work and park right here? My goodness. Isn't that beautiful, babe? Let me just make sure I'm pointing it properly to capture all this. Of course, we have a little bit of glare from the windshield, but I don't think that should ruin this. I mean, seriously, guys, this is gorgeous. This is right behind Vaughn's, actually more technically behind like DIY and the laundromat over here in the, um, why do I always forget the name of this shopping center? Interlochen Shopping Center, the Interlochen Shopping Center. Interlochen. drive is mainly going to be along the main road and then whenever we see anything beautiful we're going to point it out but i wanted you guys just to uh yeah we're, we're going to take a, a a couple short detours just off the beaten path because i know where there's a couple spots that are spotty like this but yeah so that's that's the start you guys that is the beginning that is the beginning my friends As you guys can imagine, we're, at least what I'm assuming is that most of these trees that we're seeing all this yellow, these are, and, and even some reds right there, these are man-planted man, man, man planted trees here. I don't think these are natural. Those are what we have planted, not Rachel and I personally. So we are gonna take a right here and go through one of the side streets. Again, guys, this is gonna be a complete valley tour. 
just so you guys can get a good sense of what we got going on. It's not going to be the shortest video, but it is going to be beautiful. be a little more on this street okay so we're gonna continue through the neighborhood I wish it was a little cloudier so we wouldn't have as much glare from the sun on the windshield, but it is what it is. beautiful just beautiful here's some red ones I love the dark burgundy ones yeah totally so pretty totally I love the pretty. yellow ones but the dark burgundy ones are my favorite I'd have to agree with that as well and of course the, I mean all of them all of them look at the orange one. Yeah. Oh, there's a Halloween looking tree <laughs> Okay, babe. And by the way, when Curtis comes up in about a week at the most, we're, 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 uh, he's going to bring a couple metal detectors and we're going to all go do some metal detecting. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. it would be smart to come through the neighborhood since a lot of it is not na nat natural foliage this is I believe you guys it's man-made stuff and hang tight just for a second okay sorry about that guys I had to answer a phone call refer to peewee as football oh is yeah it? baseball is little league oh um, okay, okay yeah yeah and they have the football field drawn out here okay let's see here let's get some more these are interesting colors right here on the right there's one of those burgundy ones right there so right now we are on um park avenue and this is one of our bigger parks in Big Bear, right on the lake. It's a beautiful place. At the very end of Knight Avenue and Park Avenue, you'll run right into the park right here. As you can see, most of these trees are pine trees, so there's not much color change. We got a long, long drive. Oh my God, goodies. 
Minnesota hoodie bag. Okay, let's see. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry, guys. Now we're at Big Bear Boulevard, you guys. down this street right here where the Pines Pines restaurant is and then those really tall yellow ones are so cool. they are they're gorgeous this is probably my favorite spot up here you guys there's the Pines restaurant and the Pines Tavern they're, they're, they're catty corner from each other basically one of them is on the lake Pines Tavern, it's more of a bar. And the Pines Restaurant is more of a restaurant. They're both restaurants, but the tavern, in you know, the implication of the word tavern is exactly what it is. So we're right on the lake here. You can see some spotting of all these different colors out here. Just real quick, I'll just show you guys. This is the Pines Lakefront Restaurant right here. It's a wonderful restaurant, good food. And this is the Pines Tavern, sitting right on the lake right here. Okay, let's see here. So we're gonna turn back around and head back out. Our next stop's gonna be driving through the village because the village has some pretty intense colors right now. Say hello to my little friend. Let's see. That sounds good, man. I apologize for any inconvenience. I will let you know. It's not gonna be long. So guys, this drive, we're gonna be driving all the way around through Fawn Skin, and then back to Stanfield Cutoff, and then we're gonna be pretty much done. I, th I, I think that'll be a long enough fall colors drive for everyone. Is that, that'll probably be about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Yeah, look at all, all that beautiful, look at all those beautiful colors, man. Jeez. Again, we're on Big Bear Boulevard now, you guys, and our next stop is driving through the village. The village has some pretty incredible colors right now. It's probably going to be the best part of the drive, to be honest. Actually, I don't know that. I don't know that at all. But I know it's really, really pretty right now. quite as pretty as my wife, but it's pretty. Guys, this was the perfect timing to come do a video like this, for sure. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. Again, I hope the glare isn't hindering the view at all for you guys. 
there's some really pretty colors. And then when we turn right on Village Drive, there's gonna be another batch of just amazing colors. I'm gonna put the camera out, out the window so we don't have any glare. Coming up here shortly around this bend, there'll be another really, really, really beautiful patch of nice colors. And then again, we'll just be driving on Big Bear Boulevard, and when we see some beautiful stuff, we will definitely be taking a look. But here we, here we go. This is one of my favorite spots right now in the whole town. Okay, so we are exiting the village and we are headed back on to Big Bear Boulevard. So guys, just keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to try and point the camera every direction where I see some beautiful, beautiful fall colors. When you come up here, if you're here on a Tuesday, go to that place we just passed on the left called Azteca Grill. And you can get per order 10 tacos for a buck each. And these tacos regularly are like $4.50 each. So it's definitely worth it. We try to go every, every Tuesday. Just Coming up to an area that's got a long line of beautiful yellows as well on the left hand side. We're, we're, we're gonna pull off onto the. We're just gonna pull off so you guys can see it. Look at that, look at those colors, you guys. My goodness. Hold on a sec. What do you guys think of that? I'm gonna get out for a, a quick second. I'll be right back. I just wanna make sure that I can get this. Wow.
so pretty, you guys. So gorgeous. Alright, since we don't have a whole bunch of time, I just wanted you guys to, to kind of just get the gist of these beautiful areas. Let me see what we can see over here. Alright you guys, okay, awesome, awesome. So far, those are my uh, pretty much favorite spots so far, but I don't spend as much time on this side of town, so I'm looking forward to seeing what we've got to offer for fall colors over here. glare is so annoying but once we get around fawn scan we'll be heading the other direction and the glare will be nil there will be no no glare no glare to the turning point you guys so we're not going to deal with any glare so that's again makes me happy and I told you guys earlier we're going to be doing some metal detecting soon do you guys know off the top of your heads, does anybody know if, if we need a permit to do anything like that? Or is it something that we can do no problem? I'm gonna look it up anyway, but I'm hoping somebody might know. Okay, so we're driving through Papoose Bay, almost to the Big Bear Dam. Hope you all are enjoying the video so far. I'm really happy to be doing this video for you guys. It's been asked for for a long time. And 
again, if you guys notice, because it's just so many pine trees, there's not as as many colors. It's it's not like you get in like Vermont or or Maine or New Hampshire or parts of Massachusetts and stuff like that. Not those type of, of colors. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be incredible. snow on the side of the road but they're little uh sandbags okay they were like blowing something at way um snowflake today oh, okay like water or i don't know what they were it's just like all those things that blow stuff were blowing something i don't think it was snow definitely not snow babe i think they're just getting the grounds ready that could be it that's actually a good thought probably exactly what it is okay here we go beautiful lake right there my gosh we really are so lucky to live here it's such a beautiful place all right guys so we are going to be heading into the fawn skin area we should be there in no time at all Shouldn't be much traffic on this road behind us, so we can drive a little bit slower. If we see anybody, we'll pull over. This guy on his bike just hauling. I miss my motorcycle. It's been in the shop two and a half months now, you guys, just for a regular service. I urge all of you stay away from Riverside Harley Davidson. Do not buy a motorcycle there for any reason at all. Please, you guys. For instance, I had a warranty job done. My engine blew up and I paid for the, ex the extended warranty and it covered the new engine. It took them 13 months to get the bike back to me because it was a warranty job. And they kept on lying to me and I know they were lying because I called the warranty company after six months after Riverside Harley-Davidson kept on telling me, oh yeah, we've been calling them and we're just waiting to hear, hear back from them. They know all about it. We just are waiting for them to come down and check out the bike and give us the approval. Well, after hearing that about literally 10 times, six months later, I called the warranty company and they said they have never ever contacted them they have no idea that my bike's there and then it took them another seven months after that to get my my, my bike fixed and now my bike is in uh the riverside harley davidson service department just for a regular service you guys and they've had it for two and a half months and they keep on lying to me telling me they'll have it for me next week and they'll have it for me next week oh i, I promise we'll have it next week it'll be ready next week and when I first had them pick it up for this last service call, they lost my bike. I, I called them a month after it was picked up and said, guys, what's going on? And, and, and they said, what are you talking about? And I said, I'm just wondering what's going on with my bike because it, it's been a month. And, and they said, your bike's here? And I was like, are you kidding me? So they had to like search in all their warehouses and they eventually found it. They have lost my bike. Like guys, don't, please, I beg you, don't ever do business with Riverside Harley-Davidson. If anybody on this YouTube channel is a lawyer, I'm, I, I'm not trying to get any money, not at all. Like uh, even though I've had to make my $600 per month payments for all this time without my bike, um, I'm not trying to get any money. I just want a company like that who treats their customers like that to learn a lesson. 
Um, that's why I would want an attorney at this point because it's gotten ridiculous, you guys. And I'm not that type of a person to sue someone. Once again, it's not for any money. I don't want to get any money in return. I want them to, you know, pay the price and learn a lesson from constantly lying to their customers. And uh, yeah, so if, if anyone's watching who knows a good lawyer um, who would be interested in maybe hearing me out, I have proof of absolutely everything you know, from the paperwork when they picked up the bike for the warranty job until the point where they uh, got it back to me 13 months later. And then now I've got my paperwork from when they picked it up on August 17th for a regular service. And I still don't have it back just about two and a half months later. Pretty remarkable, you guys. So again, I'm sorry to talk about it, but don't buy a motorcycle ever at Riverside Harley-Davidson. Ever, ever, ever. Please, you guys. All right, so we're coming around into the fawn skin area, and there are a few patches of beautiful colors. Hey, babe, do you mind if I roll down your window just for a quick second, just to not get any glare on the... Oh, dang it, I missed it. There was a nice spot in between there that I wanted to show you guys of, across the lake. But that's okay. Currently the temperature is 62 degrees. This weekend we have some extremely cold air coming in. One of the days, I think Sunday, it's supposed to be 40 degrees for the high temperature and 15 for the low. So it's gonna be by far our coldest, coldest day. Let me just get a nice view of this. I never pull over here. But I just want you guys to, I don't know if you can, can really see. Let me zoom in a little bit. So that's looking across the lake. This is one of the widest, if, or I think the widest part of the lake here. It's just so, so pretty, you guys. Let me zoom back out. All right. All right, let's go. Let us go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, Grout Bay picnic area. And this is where our eagles are, Jackie and Shadow. They are over here to the left somewhere. In one of these trees. Okay, we are entering Fawn Skin. Just like most places in town, you guys make sure you're driving the speed limit, especially through the towns, um, because it's a big money maker to give uh, tickets up here. So just be extra cautious. I'm never ever condoning speeding anyway, but I don't want you guys to have your trip ruined by a few hundred dollar ticket. All right, we are in Fawn Skin. to roll down your window one more time babe we're coming up to grout bay grout creek this is grout creek right here this is where we have some beautiful waterfalls in the winter time then wow 
Oh, look at how beautiful San Bernardino looks back there, babe. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Just popping out like, like a monster behind me. Stop it. Did it really? Mystery beans. You know what? We can, um, I have a few friends like uh, Jeff who, uh, from, you know what, you guys? We're, I've played one of Jeff's songs before, but we're going to actually play it right now in the background because we're thinking about him. He's, he plays music. That's one of the spots he, he plays at the Moose Lodge. I think it's called the Moose Lodge. Um, and he's just the nicest guy, but he is so talented, you guys. He is ridiculously talented. And I love this song because it reminds me of my my beautiful wife. I mean, seriously, guys, I have such a such a beautiful wife. I'm so lucky. You guys need to know. Sometimes I get impatient with things, and you know, I'm I'm not the easiest person to deal with. And she puts up with it constantly and uh, really, really loves me. And I just wish everyone out there had that type of love in their life where people are understanding and no matter what, they will be there for you. I'm a very, very lucky man. Yeah, we're gonna play his song. this dude go by. Oops. Alright. I hope you guys like it. I played it a long time ago. But I but I doubt a lot of people listen to it because it was this far into the video. He has a YouTube channel also, you guys. He's just a wonderful man.
you guys enjoyed that. That's a good friend of mine. Um, I will put his YouTube channel name. It's the Solo Gigging Life. And he travels around and, and plays. The, the, the dude's super cool. He's he's a giant too. He's he's like six foot seven, six foot eight. The guy's a monster. Just just the nicest guy in the world though. I love him very, very much. He's he's a really good friend of mine. So we're coming to the end of our Big Bear Lake fall foliage tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, it's, as you can see, it's very spotty up here. Um, it's it's not too, too, too simple to find a lot of the beautiful colors. Um, but when you drive around and you have your eye open, you will be able to see a lot of beautiful colors. So don't forget to get your buns up here, you guys, sooner than later so you can experience some of this beauty. I think this really hard freeze that we get over the weekend is going to really rush this whole fall color situation. So you might not have a lot of time. Um, I'm hoping to put out another video. Obviously, uh, when we do the uh, the, um, the metal detecting stuff, I think that might be kind of fun for us to uh, do a video of that. So we, we will definitely do that. And now we are coming up to Big Bear Boulevard. We are on North Shore, AKA Highway 38, you guys. So we're gonna go do this, uh, finish the video right here after we get the beautiful view of Big Bear Lake and uh, we will be done at that point. We're just gonna pull over so we can drive really slow and get some nice Big Bear Lake views for the end of the video. Let these cars pass. We have one more, uh, two, two more we'll let pass. Here is an elementary school. And right over here is the beautiful lake. All right guys, here we go. I gotta roll down your window one more time, baby. We, uh, potential spam phone call. Again, we hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry. <laughs> I, I gotta get get I get back to work. But yeah. Thank you guys as always for everything. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the promo. Um, definitely looking forward to launching our our merchandise line. Like I'm 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 so excited and you guys are the ones who convinced me to to do something like that so thank you i really hope you guys love it um all right baby <laughs> baby yeah. oh. i hope you guys loved the fall colors and my kitty ears <laughs> and his halloween shirt and my halloween mask <laughs> <laughs> it scares me every morning <laughs> yeah it does it scares me too I look in the mirror and it's, it's, I freak out. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thanks again. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, um, share the videos. Apparently less than 4% of the people who watch this channel are actually subscribed. So guys, it, it really does help out. I would really appreciate it. Just subscribe knowing that it, it really will help me out. Okay, guys, thank you again for everything, all the support, all the love. 
And uh, I'm looking forward to posting this for you guys. You guys take care, and we love you very much. Bye, you guys.